What's up, YouTube? It's Dean Charles Anthony II, your favorite seasonal YouTube photographer. I hope you're doing well. But we're back again with another video. Today, we're going to be reviewing. I've been using this for about six months now, a little bit over six months, actually, I think. But this is the Brandon Cole Black Dish. Uh, I know that this is a... Uh, uh, item that is hot on these streets actually i'm actually kind of sad i'm getting this review out too late because all these extra videos are coming out um but we got some thoughts we got some opinions uh, like i said i have been using it for a while to be honest with you i am going to still be using it it has actually been working as my primary softbox i've been switching actually a fairly amount between the this one and the Manny Ortiz one, which one day I'll get that video out. But <laughs> we got some thoughts, we got some opinions, um, and some feedback. So we're gonna go ahead and get started um, with number one. All right, so getting started with number one, the build. To be 100% honest with y'all, this is my personal opinion. All the stuff from this review will be my personal opinion. Kill me in the comments later. This is the best built softbox beauty dish I have ever experienced. I've bought a lot over the last 10 years. Um, it's nine years, but next year will be 10 years. I've been doing photography. I've had every type of softbox, every size from 22 to 60 and all that range. Um, and this is the best built softbox that I've ever had. Um, be for real, if, if I'm just going off even like, uh, uh, why, what makes me want to use it. I'm a person who goes out and I shoot in the field. Um, my models know that if it's a good idea or a bad idea, but if it's done for a good shot, well, I'll take a risk. So that means going through the woods, means going into a waterfall, if it means whatever, I'm willing to go do those things. And one of the things that I've noticed, especially because the majority of my softbox have been easy locks, X, Y, and Z, when, when you're tough on them, the wires are going to pop out or something is going to happen to it or it's going to weaken and it's nice having a soft box that a soft box or a beauty dish or any modifier that you feel like it's definitely going to last you a long time that's honestly a 10 out of 10 for me with the build um something i can throw in my bag and something i can throw in my trunk something that i trust to go out with me um the build is really nice i'm gonna just show y'all a little bit of it so one we have like and y'all seen this if y'all walked at the uh, the uh, box opening x y and z but this metal is very sturdy these wires are pretty strong are very strong it has a good material to it and um the one thing that i would say that like it worries me the most because everything is either metal or the wires are, are really tough would be the ends and let me see if you can see it real quick see the ends right here um they are plastic and then they are connected to um kind of like just this little piece of it's like plastic cloth or whatnot it is. Um, I know, the, I see the purpose of it. It's designed to hook on to this to keep this stable. Um, so far, I haven't had no issues, but um, it is a very well put together soft box. Honestly, it's the gold standard. Um, I, yeah, it's the gold standard uh, when it comes to the build of a soft box. I haven't seen anything better than that. So starting off with number one, the build is amazing. All right, so number two. Uh, we're gonna talk about the light. All right, so when we're talking about the light, we're talking about the light that's coming out of the softbox. So when I first got this, one of the things I was definitely concerned about, like some black interior, is a shinier like um, black interior on the inside, and you know just how would it work? So one, I was glad to see, you know, I, you know, you see stuff online X Y Z. It is a softbox that works. Like I think within all the controversy, I think we do have to study a, a base of it does work. Um, but what you will experience um and this these are my two cons of it right so because it's a black interior it's not giving out as much light what i kind of noticed was about definitely a stop a stop and a half um of of light that wasn't given out especially with like my 80 i'm using a 400 pro mainly um 8400 pro uh, with this light set i do recommend you going higher like i'm definitely never using this with my 8200 or with my um or with any other uh, flash mount, I am actually think my 84, I mean 8200, yeah. my 8400 is the bare minimum that I would use. Um, if I still had, well, because I gave it away, but if I still had the 8600 or 8600 Pro, I think that is the prime um, light that um, should be using with uh, with this soft box, soft box, just so you can kind of 
be prepared for the give and take, right? Because, you know, what you want to think about is really those high noon situations um, where light is just pouring down and you want to make sure that you can balance as much as you can. And so you want to give as much as you can get, uh, give as much as you can get out of it. When it comes to the light <laughs> coming out of it, I enjoy seeing the light. Um, here's a couple shots from um, a graduation shoot. This video may come up making no promises, but I do have behind the scenes for it. Just depending on if I actually make it, but here you go. boom so these are um some shots from a graduation shoot um you can see the comparisons that so these are straight out of camera shots um and then with my edits um if i put them up there i don't really know i haven't decided it yet but it is a is a light source that i really enjoyed the light that was coming out of it uh -huh. um my second um thing about the light um which it comes, it's a beauty dish. It has like the metal reflector, all that jazz with it. I personally am not using the metal reflector. I'm using it completely as a soft box without the metal reflector. Um, the reason because the reason I'm doing that is because with the metal reflector, um, it's, it's a black reflector. I'm not sure where I put it, but it's a black reflector. Um, and what I was noticing, especially when I was shooting indoors, um, particularly on a backdrop, is that it kind of forms, like the way the light is reflecting off, it forms like a halo. It almost looks like, even when you fire, it's like a, a, a strange vignette. It's like a halo vignette. It's weird um, that it's coming off of it, um, that's coming out of the lens. And so the subject itself wasn't really getting the lighting that I personally were for, or the balance between the background and the for, uh, and the subject wasn't really given what I uh, wanted it to give. So with that being the case, I used it completely as a, soft, um, as a softbox. Now, when I was outside using it, it didn't really matter. It's just regular fall off, but especially on the inside, um, the inside uh shooting on against a backdrop um you're gonna notice that and so that's something to keep in mind um i'm actually curious like if anyone has used this and they found a better way to balance it um just let me know throw that in the description i do think that maybe even with uh future editions of the black dish it may be worth seeing like if there's a different interior dish that we want to uh 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 that um that could work out for the uh, for the dish okay and just finishing it up around um uh, around the light when it comes to colors um to be honest with you i personally didn't see it too major of a difference i haven't officially done a comparison i've seen the couple that i've seen online or xyz but i'm gonna take some time to actually do a, um, a comparison probably later on um but it is a good light that's coming off of it i didn't see any issues with the use of this tool that we call black dish Honestly, it's a it's a modifier, all right? It's a soft box. It's a modifier, and it gets the job done. And the light that comes out of it, I didn't get any crazy like colors, anything like that. I found them all to be pretty flattering, and I really enjoyed it. Um, the making or oh, the making of images <laughs> with this dish. So overall, you know, it's cool. It has some ups and downs. Like I said, you need to use a little bit more power or plan to be able to adjust that uh the power that you're using and, you know it also goes into what you're using and what aperture all that jazz um but that's something that you got to be more so aware for um when you're especially if you're planning on shooting some high noon um um photos and if you don't have a strobe that is as powerful as i think you would need like i said that's just my opinion pretty sure y'all can get in the comments and tell me i'm wrong but <laughs> that's just my opinion about it but you want to make sure that you're thinking about those things uh, when you, if you're using this dish number three the price so let's just be honest this is a premium softbox um the price is high i think it's about 250 right now um which is that's the high end of softbox um uh, soft boxes and beauty dishes if you're getting those collapsible um like i said i've used things from newer all the way to this <laughs> this being the most expensive actually i think the manny ones was just as expensive those two being the most expensive um but it is a feeling and this is just my honest opinion you get what you pay for when it comes to build uh when it comes to the long longevity of these soft boxes especially if for me like if you're a person like me i'm a little bit harder on my gear i'm a, um i'm gonna go out it's gonna get banged up a little bit if you're that type of person you're getting what you're paid for um when it comes to would i rather pay the price for more uh for this for this soft box or say for instance an easy lock or a um 
uh, a newer or something that you can get off of Amazon or anything like that, I personally would spend the money on it. What I will also say with the price, I would not recommend this for a beginner. Uh, with the price and even with what we talked about before uh, on this, I think this is a gear for, which price that is for a seasonal, not seasonal, Jesus Christ, a seasoned photographer, um, <laughs> a seasoned creator. Um, so let's keep that in mind. Um, for me, this goes under the same ideal of what the 28 to 70, to work with me, which, oh, real quick, to say uh, 28 to 70 uh, with the Canon lens is. I, the price is there for a reason. You're gonna feel the difference of why that price is there. Whether it's a big pump, uh, chunk of glass, whether it's uh, indestructible <laughs> softbox, but you're gonna feel that price. It's not made for most people. Most people should get the 24, I mean, yeah, the 24 to uh, 70. Most people should get a easy lock uh, at a better price. Get the, um, get a newer, get what you need at the price that's comfortable for you. Don't just jump in on the deep end because if you don't take good shots, if you're not get already making the images that you're supposed to, that you would like to make, excuse me, not supposed, but would like to make, this isn't the secret sauce to get you <laughs> to make that image. I promise you that. Um, it'll actually add more challenges to it. So that's just something to think about. The price is there. I do think based off of a build, the price is worth it because of the build and it's still, it's a very usable um, softbox. But if you're, like I said, if you're not seasoned, if you are buying your first softbox right now, this isn't where I would point you in that direction. All right, number four, enjoyment. Overall experience, I do enjoy using this black dish. Now, when it comes to the size, uh, the weight of it, I, you know, I'm gonna keep talking about the build. That is actually a very big selling point for me. Um, but the use of it and uh, the usefulness of it, I've enjoyed my last six months, seven months, however long it's been uh, working with the black dish. It's really been like 80% of the time I'm actually taking the black dish. The only time I actually uh, switched out for the man or to use. Also, I've already used that for several months, <laughs> but uh, switched out for the Manny Ortiz was really during some high noon shots uh, when I didn't have the power that I needed to uh, go. And so once again, that's something to keep in mind. But for the most part, when it came to Putting it, uh, putting it together outside that first time opening and I'm gonna be honest with you the first time you open this this dish it's gonna take a minute my thumbs were killing me once you get past the first time the second time all that kind of stuff it's smooth like you gotta kind of like loosen up the joints <laughs> and the wires or something like that first but overall enjoyment it has been a pleasure to use I really enjoy it I really enjoy the light that I'm getting out of it um I actually even enjoy like Actually, I even really enjoy it being at that 40 uh, range. I actually, um, I didn't know I liked that range, that size of modifier that much. Um, if you've been on this channel, if you know me, I was using a 32, then I jumped to a 60, and then I've been kind of working it in between right now, but that 40 is a nice little sweet spot between um, that 60, which that 60 is beautiful because it's really full body. Um, you can get that full, that full body, um, um, the light will hit the full body with that 60, but it's huge. Um, this is a nice little compromise for that. I think the 60 is still my preferred size, but it's a hassle, to, to be honest with you. It's a hassle to open up that 60, get it all ready and all that jazz. So this um, this size is definitely that sweet spot that I'm really, uh, really enjoying. Um, I like it. Like, uh, it's kind of hard to kind of describe sometimes, like, because uh, this is where if we've been real with you, um, even in the enjoyment piece, and I'm going to ramble a little bit, y'all. I've not done it the whole video, but I'm going to ramble a little bit. Some things, like, just need to be experienced. And I know that sucks. I know that technically everybody's going to go in here and be like, yada, yada, yada. I understand that. When you get the black dish and you use it, it just turns into a regular modifier. And now the next question is like, do you enjoy using that modifier? Do you, it's the same thing when you jump from using umbrellas, using <laughs> other things, um, uh, V-Flex, anything that you're using. The question is, do you enjoy using it and does it give you the shot that you want? And for me, that answer is yes. It may not be for everybody, but for me, Dean Charles Anthony II, your favorite seasonal YouTuber, uh, <laughs> is gonna be uh, that case. Um, and my question, and I had to ask myself this, how often would I choose this over something else? 
All right. So if we're talking about the wide range of lighting equipment that we can get, we're talking about umbrellas, all that jazz. So we're talking about soft boxes, talking about V-Flex, all that jazz. For me, this is on the high, on the um, more likely to grab. If I got everything in my closet that I need to grab, I'm probably going to grab this more often than not. And like I said, it does go a lot to build. It does go to consistency. I was consistently getting an image that I really enjoyed. Um, man, it was just, it's, it just feels good to use. Um, that's just the point blank of it. It felt good to use. Um, and you know, you feel that when you get gear, you know, it's the same thing. When I got the 28 to 70, the same way I felt. The same way I didn't feel when I got the 85. I, actually, my least favorite lens. We might do a video why this is my least favorite lens. But this felt good to me. And it was once it was in my hand because, you know, everyone can tell me everything, but I'm a trial and error learner. That's just who I am. So I had to go put it out in the field and see if it gave me what I needed it to do. And it did for me. All right. So wrapping up this video so we're just gonna talk about who is this for um i said it earlier this is for a seasoned photographer i don't recommend this for a newbie um <laughs> i don't at all um this is definitely for somebody who has been in this for a little while who maybe wants to see something different um like i said um i do enjoy using this i do think uh i'm gonna think a little bit more about like what's the time and place and you know that's the piece that um I think as time grows on, I'll be better at answering. We might do a year review about about this dish. Uh, but the time and place, when do I want to switch from a black to a silver? When do I, I'll, excuse me, I only really use silver interiors right now anyway. But when is that time and when does it work best, uh, best for me? But for the people who are considering this, right, unless you just know you want it, unless you have a seasoned photographer unless you know what you're doing when it comes to off-camera flash and all that jazz don't i wouldn't i wouldn't start here i would start with the cheap stuff to get yourself comfortable to get yourself ready to do all that jazz and make you a self worker i understand there's also a 22 inch that might actually be a little bit better uh, for a few people um if you want to experiment if you want to see something different or see how things can be different this is definitely an experience <laughs> so go out and experience it um yeah that's really all i have so for me do i recommend the black dish the answer is yes i am gonna recommend it because that's what i'm using right now i'm enjoying it uh um what i'm getting out of my black dish um but get your hands on it if you can't get your hands on it people of youtube who do have it shoot more videos it's actually kind of crazy to me that there's only like four videos i'm part of the problem i know that but <laughs> that there's only like four real like review videos of this for the amount of like conversation piece that this has become uh we definitely want to get more people out in the field to review this um review this see how you feel let me know your thoughts Throw them out in the con um, in the comments. Uh, there's gonna be many things that go later on with these uh, videos. But I appreciate you. I always am grateful to everyone who has subscribed on this channel, who has still stayed with this journey, who still comments about when my next video, all that jazz, or um, recently who's told me that uh, I uh, they don't like this dish. <laughs> That's been the uh, last few comments. But it's time. We appreciate you. Um, this is Dean Charles Anthony. Keep shooting, y'all. Y'all have a great day. That's from your favorite seasonal photographer, YouTuber. Bye.